everybody, welcome to my second YouTube channel, Easy to Dance. This is where I do all the detailed tutorials of all my dances. So this one is choreographed to Maroon 5 Sugar. Again, if you'd like to see this dance with music, you can go to my other YouTube channel, Daddy One Productions. You can click on the link at the bottom um, in the description box or at the end of the video and it will take you right there. If you'd like to stay up to date with the latest videos, please like our Facebook pages, Easy to Dance and Daddy One Productions. And as always, please leave a comment of a song suggestion that you would like to see a dance to. So let's get started. Alright, so for this dance, you're going to start facing back. Right foot is popped in front of you and hands are to your side. You're also going to be holding the first four beats in the beginning. So on the fourth beat, you're going to start counting five, six, seven, eight. So you're holding five, six, seven, eight. Step on your right foot. One, and you're also going to sway your hips and your arms to the right on two. Okay, so you're stepping one, hit two, step with your left three, hit four. Then you're going to turn over your right shoulder and step onto your right foot and drag your left on five. And you're also pushing your hands down at your sides. So this is five, you're going to step with your left foot first and six, so you're going to be facing the right diagonal, so that's and six, you're going to roll your shoulders and you're going to come down on seven, down eight. From here you're going to hold one, come up on two, step forward with your left on three, you're going to do a single pirouette and your hands are going to be flexed to your side on four, then you're going to step out of it on five, Six, so your legs are going to be exactly how they were for this move. So your left foot is popped and your right foot is planted on the ground. Both knees are bent. Okay, so you just went four, you step out of it five, six. You're going to contract your chest in on seven, eight. From here, you're going to push your right arm down first to your side and your hand's going to be flexed and your fingers are pointed to the diagonal you're facing. So after you just hit seven, eight, it's going to go push down with your right one, push down with your left on, and you're going to bring your arms up on two, three, then you're going to start bringing it towards the front on four, but your knees or your legs are also going to switch um, so that way your weight is going to be on your left foot now and your right leg is inverted in. Okay? So after you just did seven, eight, this is one and two, three, switch, four, and your arms are actually moving in a slower motion, so just make sure that your legs switch on four as your arms are still coming on five, six, then you're going to push down with both hands on two, or down your left side on seven, eight, one, your arms are completely straight, then you're going to hit on two. So really what you're doing is you're just bending over to your right side, hands are in high fifth, and your hands are in fist, and you're just bringing your knee to your head. So this is hit two, bring it down on three, turn over and step with your left four, Run back on five, six, jump up to the front on seven, bring it down on eight. From here, you're going to walk your hands forward, starting with your right hand. So it's going to walk one, two, step onto your left foot on three. So it's kind of like a prep. Three, you're going to bring your right leg up into an attitude on four. And then you're going to let your leg drop behind you. Okay, so after you stepped on your left foot on three, this is four. Drop it five, six, catch yourself onto your right foot on five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to keep rolling towards the left side. So after you drop, you're going to bring this knee down and in. Okay, so just really make sure you tuck your right leg into your left. So you just dropped on five, six, seven, eight. You're going to keep rolling one. You're going to come up onto your knees on two. Your arms.
arms are going to come up three, four, then they're going to come up and out to the side on five, six. So after you roll up onto your knees, that's one, two, this is three, four, hands come down on five, six, then your right arm comes down and up on seven, eight. So you're facing the left side, make sure you're looking um, over your right arm. So this is seven, eight. From here, you're going to roll onto your right hip. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to tuck your right leg back underneath your left, so that way your left leg is free and you're rolling to the right side. Okay, so from here, this is seven, eight. You're going to start rolling on one, two. You're going to prep three. Kick your right leg out on four. You're going to bring this leg back down to roll to the back. So this is hip four. You're going to roll five, six, come up, stepping onto your left foot, seven, you're in B plus on eight. From here, you're going to start walking back for four counts, and your shoulders are going to hit down, down, down. So your right shoulder is always hitting down, so the emphasis is going down on your right. So you just came up, seven, eight, start walking back, and shoulders go one, two, three, four. You're going to step onto your right foot and face the front on five. This is kind of like your prep. Then you're going to do a single pirouette. Your palms are going to face up, and then your left leg is going to be in a low, um, in a low arabesque. Okay, so what it's going to look like, so after you just did three, four, you step five to prep, you're going to turn six, seven, step on your left foot on eight. And as you're turning, if you're comfortable, you can look up. Okay, if you're not comfortable with that, then you can just keep looking forward, but make sure you spot. Okay, so after you just turn six, seven, land on your left foot on eight. From here, you're going to do a ball change into a fan kick. So after you land on eight, your arms come into a T, and you're going to ball change starting with your right foot since it's free. So you just landed eight. This is ball change on one, two. So it's going to be right, left. Fan kick on three, four. So when your right leg is fanning, your left arm is coming down and around, and your right arm is straight. So this is Three, four, you're going to chene on five, six, step out of it, seven, step out with your left foot on eight. From here on one, your hands are going to come to your heart, and then you're going to kind of lean to the left. So what these leans are going to be is one leg is always going to be inverted in, and you're always going to be leaning to one side. So on one, you're going to lean to your left, and your right knee is going to be inverted. So this is one, switch it two, switch it three, switch it four. From here, push both arms down on five. Make sure your, arm, or your hands are flexed. So you're here on four, push it down five, flick kick, and your right arm comes around and over. So this is five, flick on six. You're going to shut a around on seven, eight. Okay, so seven is right foot, eight is left foot. From here, left hand comes to your heart, and your right arm is going to come from your shoulder over and down. Okay, so after you just turn on seven, eight, this is one, two, three, four. You're going to swing your right arm around. It's going to go front to back. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four. You're going to go five, six, seven, eight. And while you're doing that, when your arm comes up, your legs are straight. When it's down, your legs plie. Okay, come into a plie. So this is five, six, seven, eight. From here, you're going to step together, and your right arm comes up to your ear on one. But on one, you're also going to hit. Okay, so your hand is going to flex 
forward. Try to keep your arm um, as close to your head as possible. When you hit, you're also going to hit your hip forward. Okay, so from eight, this is hit one, two, three, four. You're going to step back on your right foot. Start bringing your right arm down in front of you on five. So you're going to sit in it. Make sure your left leg is popped first. This is five. Keep bringing your arm down and step back with your left on six. Keep going seven. One more time, eight. From here, you're going to do chasse. So first, you're going to chasse with your right foot first. Your right arm comes down. So after you just went eight, you chasse towards the right. Arm comes down on one, two. You're going to bring your right arm around. Chasse with your left on three, four. Left arm comes out. Chasse with your right, five, six. Chasse left. Right arm goes seven, eight. Chasse to the front. One, two. Step three. Then you're going to do a double play leap. Double play leap on four, five. Come down on six. Then you're going to jump back up on seven, hold eight. From here, you're just going to move your shoulder back and you're going to step onto your left foot. So it's going to go one, two, make sure you're looking towards the back. Then you step on your right, three, four. Then your arm comes around, five, six. Right arm comes around on seven, eight. From here, you're going to do pivot turn. So you're going to step onto your left foot on one and you're going to push your sh left shoulder down. So, hands are flexed also to your side. So this is one, pivot, two, do it to the back, three, pivot, four. You're going to start walking towards the left side with your left foot first. Five, swing your arms, both arms around on six. So you're stepping with your right and your arms are also swinging on six. You're going to step with your left on seven. Then you're going to come all the way down on eight and make sure you're looking down to the ground. So this is where the dance ends on this pose on eight. All right, everybody, so that's the dance. Again, if you like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Easy to Dance, and also my other YouTube channel, Daddy One Productions. I'll see everybody next time.